Hello, my name is Tunis. Uh, uh, I'm a creator from this North Africa classroom. So I want to share you something, a good news about uh, most of you who are following this channel because of some uh, PhD things, academic stuff, and so on. So uh, I want to share something, a good news that one of the papers that um, some of the way on calculating the methodology is going into top 10 SSRN for some of you that already know SSRN is like a kind of directory for a database for a research especially for a paper that not yet published on the journal so this is one of the journal that I also sent to some of a uh, journal that they are now in the author or in the review so uh, I want to show you how it looks like and maybe like motivate you uh, also to 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 publish in SSRN so uh, I've been in SSRN for I think in last 10 years but in last I think um, 10 I think eight years I'm not really into publishing there as actually in my school in my PhD study I'm more into like try to uh, going through like real journal publication like journal of empirical finance journal of finance so on that have like clear tire and uh, like Q level something stuff like that uh, but actually when you producing a paper you also don't want to make your paper is too exclusive that no one can access it because you know like sometimes you get a great review from some public uh, journal and uh, me with my professor we also publish in Munich uh, review like directory and actually we got couple of good input there uh, especially also from some people who read our paper and give us our feedback so uh, now, now I'm happy that SRN I think quite developing in the last couple of years and now they also like much more agile and rapidly publishing uh, and doing some you know anything that it's make paper more engaging so I want to show you how it looks like let's see in the computer so this is like a page that I get the notification from the email and the top download for response to financial crisis comparative and monetary topic there are like uh, some topic for example here on confession monetary and fiscal policy that having 40 downloads in I don't know last 60 days and also like macro prudence negative EU I think it's like some of them they are still in the process of review maybe but you know like they would like to get some input here uh, and many other stuff including my paper here like counter cyclical capital buffer building the resilient or timing the rapid financial cycle that got 18 download well it's not a lot right but well it's good that some people download and read your paper especially like this paper is very niche very specific it's about like people who are interested on macro potential maybe macro is a bit bigger but it's more niche also to people who are just interested in the topic of uh, counter cyclical uh, counter cyclical capital what's that uh, i'll go deeper if some of you are interested on this paper but the interesting part is also some of my video in youtube using actually this uh, calculations this is when you see like how to read the granger causality in one of the youtube video so the paper uh, and how to calculate the causality also there so um, building a paper something it's also like building a cathedral there are a lot of methods calculation i remember in this paper maybe there are like um, five way of calculating especially when you check the robustness but yeah it's going you feel appreciated that actually people read your paper okay so that's for now this video today uh, the point is like i want to encourage you for some of you phd student professor that writing a paper don't feel bad to publish also in some you know directory public directory that it's not like it doesn't you should not be afraid also that people will copy your paper because basically now nowadays like internet people always can check plagiarism they can check who is first publishing something but the point here is when you publish in this directory public journal something like that you got uh, feedback and this feedback i think it's also more important for your future research cool so i think that's all for now thank you very much for watching this video yo see you in another video thank you